Hi everyone and welcome to another video with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at the fastest way to get some really cool inertia in Adobe After Effects. These videos are designed to be the most efficient way for people with basic working knowledge of After Effects to learn new skills. If you're completely new to After Effects, then you can check out my Fundamentals of Animation course in the link below. So let's get started. First we'll go Control and I, and we'll import our scene. Composition, Retain Layer Sizes. Double click on the composition. We'll then select our planet and we'll hit Y and it'll change to our anchor point tool and we'll put the anchor point in the bottom left corner here and we'll do this for all of the objects. Now that we've done that, we'll select our first object here and hit R on the keyboard for the rotation. Move about a third of a second in and click the keyframe here. Move back to the start and we'll rotate it just out of frame around about here. Then go ahead and copy the expression which will be pinned to the top of this video and also in the description um, thanks to Harry Frank who works at Maxon. We'll now hold Alt and we'll click the stopwatch and we'll paste that in here. We can now copy these two keyframes, select the bottom layer, hold Shift and select the top one and then we'll just paste those keyframes there. So they'll all come in like this. We can either offset them by just dragging them like this, one by one. Or if we go to Windows and use Animation Composer Free Transition Shifter. This is a free plugin for After Effects and I'll leave a link in the description below as well. And then we can stagger it by three frames and click Do. If we turn on Motion Blur for these and make sure it's turned on here, with this expression, you can change the amplitude, frequency, and decay here. And there we are, the quickest and easiest way how to get some really cool inertia in Adobe After Effects. Thanks for watching.